If you're working with large amounts of data, you sometimes run into the problem that we're about to see on the screen here in this worksheet called freezing. I want to scroll down and look at some of the other records. So I'm using the mouse wheel. And sure enough, I am seeing other records, but I'm no longer seeing row one. And maybe this data is relatively new to me and I'm forgetting what's in each column. Some choices are obvious, some are not, but I want to see that top row all the time. So the idea of freezing a row or rows is easily achieved by way of the view tab in the ribbon. And we can choose freeze panes and simply freeze the top row. Now we do have the option of freezing more rows if we wish, but for the moment, the top row is frozen. And we don't know that until we start to scroll and we see row one's there all the time. That's probably the most frequent use of this feature. This has no impact whatsoever on printing, it has nothing to do with printing. It's just a visual change and it's really handy and widely used. And you can keep this feature on all the time. You can save your workbook with this feature on. It'll stay there indefinitely. You might want to reconsider some other options though. And certainly not in this case, but there could be times when you want to freeze two or three rows on top. And at times you want to just remove the feature. You cannot undo this capability. It doesn't fall into the realm of possibilities there, but we can go back to the freeze panes option on the view tab and unfreeze panes to remove the feature. Now, another possibility is, what if you work with this data a lot, you're starting to, and other people view the screen from time to time, you need to keep it relatively large. As we scroll left and right here, we see the other data that we need to see. But as we're looking at some of the data over here in the other columns, we lose sight of which person it is that we're dealing with. And so the people's names in column A, we might want to see all the time. So we might consider freezing column A. Now, at the same time, we also might want to freeze row one. So if we want to freeze both of those, click in the cell that's just below the row we want to freeze and to the right of the column. So in this case, it's cell B2. Then go to freeze panes and simply freeze panes. Now, there is a subtle difference on the screen. The column separator, the row separator, slightly darker than the others. But now we have the ability, as we saw previously, to scroll up and down. But also now, as we scroll leftward and rightward, we will always see column A. And if for whatever reason, if we wanted to see columns A and B together, we would unfreeze and then simply put the active cell here and then institute freeze again to freeze columns A, B together and row one. So we could scroll around and always see columns A and B and row one. So variations on the same idea here. And it's really valuable, something you cannot imitate with printing and something that has nothing to do with that feature, but a great visual tool in using Excel.